Yeah, I almost forgot to push the button again. So we got Sammy over here at uh, Cottonwood. We got a little creek back there with swans and ducks. Little people walking over there. So I don't know if he's going to um, stop and plop in the middle of this. <laughs> he usually poops pretty quick when we go in the fields. Good boy. Right, and he'll. Good boy. Very nice. Uh, we've already seen a bunch of squirrels. We've seen the animals. Um, I saw this. This is these people that don't watch their dogs. Uh, which most of the time isn't a big deal. The dog's pretty good. <laughs> we came around the corner one time over there, and I had like three or four dogs. The damn thing just ran right up to us because they weren't watching. And uh, the way the area was set up is, I think it was around the corner. We came around the corner, and they had a dog like right there. Come on, buddy. What's looking at? Ready to heal? Oh, good boy. So anyways, that was a tangent already. Um, so you pick up all the stuff on the internet, right, from these videos. And all these little short videos are hard to, uh, to get a lot of information from. So you got to kind of decipher stuff. I saw this one uh, girl was like, never let your dog sniff first. Right now, here's a here's a problem I have with the, the videos like that is they don't say. Now some of them do. Some of them go in and type a whole bunch of stuff. This is specific to this dog, right? This dog has certain doesn't pay attention issues, so you need to get that structure in first. Um, so there are some dogs that I do that with, but pretty generally, I want to let them go and sniff a little bit, kind of get to kind of calm down from the anxiety i guess of being in a new area or anxiety or excitement of a new area new things good boy so you do your little heel drills right away right get them focused on you and sit good boy all right and then let them have the freedom right i mean then let them have more freedom so like maybe this person specifically their dog doesn't pay attention, blah, 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 blah. So, or the dog gets overexcited, right, from seeing so much stuff. You got to get them in and get them calm first. Pretty generally, though, you can let your dog kind of sniff around and then do stuff like this. This new environment. So this is somewhere you go every week. You don't have to do this kind of stuff. Ready, down. Hand motion. Little pressure. Oh, let's do food. Do food for because we're in a new environment. Good. And and I'm all bent over. Ugh. The best way to do the little pressure is using your foot. It's hard for me to make it that make that my habit. It's the first people I saw doing it, they're doing it on the table with a leash, so that's my I always go to what I see first, right? And I'm like, oh, yeah, this way is better. So, uh, oh, right? He's kind of got the, I want to check everything out, too. Good boy. He's not a particular fan of doing downs on the concrete. Let's do one more. And we'll go food first. Ready? Down. Good. Break. <laughs> he was already getting up when I said break. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. So I think there was a dude jogging. That's why he was looking over there. Do -do 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 -do. Pretty generally. You let him check stuff out as long as they're coming with you. It's no big deal. We come over here by the ducks and stuff. Oh, he wants to go sniff it. So they want to go sniff it. What you do is you make sure that good boy, make sure that they're turning with you, and then you can let them go over there when they're not pulling on you, right? And you can go break. 
We haven't been over here. We sniffed around over there. Getting excited with all the duck noises. Good boy. Let's calm him down a little bit. Come away from the stimulus. Good boy. Right. He starts to get excited and then he's going to, which generally not a big deal. I don't want him doing it on this. On the long line, it's not as big of a deal. Oh, good boy. Tickle boys. You want to go get freedom? So, right, so all the stuff you see, be sure and try to, like, read between the lines, right? A lot of people don't, it's hard, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say people don't want to give you information on these things. That's why they put stuff out. Some people put stuff out because they want to give people information and help people. And obviously, it's to help grow their business. Me, I don't care. Hopefully, I can help some people for nothing. Uh... And, or maybe make somebody laugh at me. I don't care. Whatever. I don't care, man. Uh, but re just know that, like, sometimes whatever they're talking about with a certain dog might not be for your dog or your uh, situation, right? So let's go, let's go let you have long line time over here. And then we're going to go walk by the creek on this because long line is gonna be crazy. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go over here and long line and around. Boop, 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 boop. Actually, you know what? We should work recall stuff right there. Well, let me give you free time first. Uh, let me figure out what the hell I'm doing. What was my plan, dude? You never go by your plans. 